let me show you how we can add a new backdrop in photo p so here's my image i just drag and drop this photo here and it's still got the old backdrop so i'll click on the image head to select and use remove backdrop feature all right so now we got this transparency indicated by checkerboard you can add a new layer by clicking the new layer button in the layer section this will give you this brand new layer that you can use to place the image of the new backdrop keep in mind you must drag this layer below the image here so your blank layer is below the image layer now you could simply drag and drop your new backdrop here or you can use the built-in photo gallery that should be here on the right side if you click on this gallery you can also search for some free images that you can use as the new backdrop i search for the image of the basic wall and by clicking on the image it's already loaded in my project it's a bit smaller than the original one so you must be careful about the resolution to not put a too small image behind the photo in that case you may end up having the pixelated backdrop so feel free to stretch the backdrop holding shift to maintain the proportion and as i mentioned be sure you check that it's not too pixelated so with this new backdrop in place we can zoom in a bit i like to use comment plus but you can also hit view zoom in several times until you see the backdrop and if the quality matches the original image that should be fine i plan to blur my backdrop a bit anyway to keep the girl in front in focus so how we can blur the image behind we will apply a blur filter on it so let's head to filter blur and i will add a bit of gaussian blur on it Now we got this slider and we can decide how strong the blur should be. So I want to blur it slightly just like that. And here's my image. We add a new backdrop to existing photo by removing the original one using select remove backdrop. And then we use the built-in gallery to place a new image behind the picture. So that's the trick. You must put this layer behind the original layer now we can simply save this as the new image so let's click file export and we can save it as jpeg so we got the same image but with the new backdrop i hope this short tutorial was helpful and i will see you in the next one